Welcome to another tutorial of this series. In this tutorial, we will learn how to build a dialog box to add new task. Let's get started. First thing first, let's create a button that will act as a action item to open the dialog box. And I will wrap this button inside the div so that I can easily position the button by giving a display property to its parent div element. Let me now add a display property to the parent div element of the button. So I want it to move it towards the right hand side. And by giving justify and the button position has moved towards the right. Also I can create a common class that will give a similar style for all the buttons present in the application. We'll go and add this class and this button element. Now we have this very basic common styling for all the buttons. We'll go and add uh, some border radius. The next thing I need to do is to add a very specific styling for this particular button. As done earlier, we will grab these colors from these root variables. We can see that we have this button ready. And also need to add a cursor and the styling for hover. We'll grab this color and our hover is completed as we can see yeah this is working now let's go and create the component to add new task Let me first create a very basic skeleton for this component. Uh, we will create this few div elements and we'll add some bare minimum content in inside it. We'll create a button that will be used to close uh, this dialog box. We will add the JavaScript later on. Since uh, we will be having few input fields, so we will be wrapping the, those input fields inside a div called dialog body and we will also add labels for uh, those particular input fields. We need to add a submit button 
uh, which would be needed when we want to submit this all information now let's call uh, that component inside uh, this file so that it's visible when we want it to be visible now let's style this dialog class so we will add a position fix so that this uh, this dialog box remain uh, fixed for the whole page and also th this will be acting as an overlay and we want this uh, dialog content class to be visible and its parent will be acting as the overlay so we want to give a background color to the dialog content div and we also want to add some padding and some width and height Um, okay, at least this something is missing and we need to give a margin property margin auto will um, move it to the center and margin top will give some a margin from the top and now this seems to be a bit correct now let's go and um, build the input fields properly Now I will uh, try to style the input type uh, text. We, we are using two types of uh, input. One is the text and the other is the date. So um, I will just try to style both these input types uh, differently and later on uh, we can just move on and uh, merge them together into a, into a single class. No time for styling the input for date field. This looks much sorted, but we can remove the border 
from this date input field as well so I'll go ahead and remove this border and now all these inputs uh, input fields looks very much similar to each other this way we can uh, give different stylings for different types of input fields but I don't want to use um, the same code and repeat it twice so I will instead merge uh, them together and keep them in same place so instead of uh, selecting selecting them by type I will just select the input and give the same styling that I used before let me also give it a width and a height and I don't need the outline it looks a bit crowded so I will add some margin and it should uh, it should improve the UI I also need to do something about this submit button uh, so I will just uh, move ahead and style the submit button first I need to add the common uh, button class which will uh, give the basic button styling and then I need to select that particular button and give the styling so instead of uh, declaring a individual class or ID for that button I will choose to uh, select that button from uh, by its parents name Next I need to move this button inside a wrapper div to position it a bit better. So I will declare a class name for this div so that I can grab it by class name and add a display flex property. The idea is to move this button towards the right hand side so I can use the justify content property of a flex this seems to be a problem with the alignment of the buttons and the input fields so I think I have made a mistake somewhere so let me just try to fix the alignment Instead of giving a 90% width, I will make the width as 100% and I will also remove the padding from inside the input field. I will also increase the padding for this dialog content box a bit more. The last remaining bit is to style this close icon button. I will download an icon and will paste it inside the assets folder so I will create a folder called icons and inside this folder I will just paste uh, this downloaded PNG file then we can simply use the image tag and uh, we can assign the downloaded file here so there are there are many uh, other ways to build this icon but uh, for now let's proceed with this one I will also add some CSS uh, to this close button so that uh, it looks much better aesthetically. Now this is looking completed. At this point at least the UI seems to be completed. Now we need to add the events to these buttons. But before that I also need to add the hover uh, for this particular button also so we'll just move ahead and add the hover
now uh, the the first thing first is when this application loads uh, this component should not be visible so instead we will just uh, we will only show this uh, component when this show dialog uh, variable is true and this show dialog variable will be true only when the user wants to add a new task so let's uh, create that functionality initially this show dialog variable will be set to false so this is set to true only when this add new task button is clicked by the user uh, before this uh, let me go to add task component and add a click event to this uh, submit button we will handle the closing of this dialog box inside uh, the parent component so for that we need to emit uh, this event and let the parent component handle this so we will emit uh, this close event when user either submits uh, the information or he uh, click the close icon uh, in this dialog box so in, in either uh, cases we will just emit this close event and let the parent uh, close the dialog box so in the parent component of uh, add task we need to handle this close event uh, so we will simply declare a function when this close event is called and we will set the show dialog variable to false we will declare a function called toggle dialog and we can simply use this logic uh, by using this logic we can actually reuse this function in other scenarios as well instead of directly putting the hard coded value of a uh, boolean value of true or false we can also reuse this uh, function in uh, in the this button when user wants to add a new task and wants to open the dialog box so we can just simply go ahead and use this same function in this add task uh, component i need to add a click event to this close icon button and actually uh, instead of emitting the close event uh, from the submit button we want to move it to uh, this function so we don't want the the, the dialog box to be uh, closed when user clicks the submit we want to handle the submit button in a different way so uh, making this change now we can see that uh, this dialog box is open when we click add new task and it is getting closed when we we are clicking on the close icon in the dialog with this we have completed building the ui for adding new task uh, but before wrapping up i need to make few fixes so we can remove this line from here we don't want to import this one and i need to change the position of this click event from this div to the button tag with this, I am wrapping up this tutorial. See you in the next one.